Hello and welcome to March already. And I love March because March is my birthday and it's not until the end of the month that I do get excited very early. So happy birthday to me and if any of you want to wish me a happy birthday then I'm sure you already know everything I do at the Circus Diaries is supported purely through my own love and uh, the donations that are made by people who subscribe to my content through the Patreon campaign. So if you want to make my year, please uh, do click and subscribe. It's an only 75p a month, I think it works out at the moment, because it's like one US dollar. I think that's about 75p. Um, and uh, that does, that money goes towards making these videos. It means I can travel to see shows and write the reviews that you all enjoy. So uh, that would be my birthday wish. And there's also um, like an Amazon wish list of books, circus research books that are on the about page on the Circus Diaries. So, you know, I'll keep my fingers crossed just in case my birthday wishes come true. And of course, you wanna know what is on this month. And there's suddenly a huge crop off circus appeared. Um, despite what the weather may think, it is coming up for spring. And uh, I hope everybody who's been tenting in the snow is safe and well and, and warm. Um, but you can see we've got a lot on here, so we are going to zoom through and show you what's where. And if we start up north today, um, then we've got some theatre that is based on circus stories. So it's not circus artists making circus theatre, it's theatre makers just basing their, their plot around circus ideas. And one of those shows would be uh, The Little Mermaid, which is by Meta Theatre, and they've got a long history of working with circus artists actually. Um, and that's starting off at the Theatre on the Lake in Keswick, and it's going on then on a tour through the country. And what I'll do, once I've explained what all these little icons are on the map, I will show you where they're moving so you can check if anything's coming near you in your location. Um, so also up there in uh, Lancaster we've got the Duke's Theatre and they have got a show called uh, Hard Times, may sound familiar. It's a Charles Dickens novel or where a circus is a key feature and it's been um, adapted for the stage and it seems to have music with it as well by Northern Broadside, so a very well renowned uh, theatre company. Uh, so that as well is going off on tour. Uh, if we come down a bit to Blackpool, uh, then the Tower Circus are opening their programme on the 24th of March and Netherlands National Circus are opening up in Leeds. Now they're one of these that, that don't always do a full tour every year, but they have got quite a few dates lined up already. Um, we'll just quickly skip through. This is Nelson with Circus Fantasia, and uh, close by that there is Colm, where Cirque de Hilarious are appearing in the theatre. Um, these are also going to be playing at other places as the month goes on. Um, Big Kids Circus are starting in Southport, uh, in Sheffield, it's the opening date of the Circus of Horrors March stint. Um, and it's also going to be home to a big circus weekend hosted by Green Top, which is a, a circus training centre. Um, and that's on the 24th to the 25th. They'll be hosting performances and workshops and films. So uh, that's a great one for getting involved if you're in that area. Um, Nutsford, that is, with Gandhi Circus. And then, <laughs> coming over to Wales, we've got Pontio, which is um, usually a venue that will book in a lot of uh, contemporary and uh, new circus productions. But uh, what I've got them on the map for this, <laughs> this month is the sing-along Greatest Showman screening. So, I'm sure you've heard of the film The Greatest Showman, P.T. Barnum in. Uh, at the end of February, they also released a sing-along version, which is appearing in cinemas all over the country. It's a it's a uh, city world, Odeons. So wherever you are, that is worth uh, checking out if you are a singer. And if you don't mind a little bit of twisting of history uh, with the Barnum story there. Uh, what else have we got on the list? Oh, yes. Um, we don't normally cover Ireland in these, it's normally a UK uh, 
uh, mapping. But uh, Dublin is the starting point of Cirque Berserk this month before they come over to Manchester. Then in Doncaster is Planet Circus. Uh, Nottingham is where the Moscow State Circus are beginning their tour this month with Augusta Nitsa, which is the show we saw last year. It's kind of based in a sort of hotel room. So all these odd, odd bodies coming to check in. Um, and it's a really nice stylish aesthetic there as well, uh, with some very high quality acts, I'm sure you can imagine. Um, Stoke on Trent is the starting place for Charles Chipperfield Circus this season, and down in Coles Hill in Birmingham is where Paulo Circus will be starting. So if we come out east, then in Spalding, uh, at the South Holland Centre, we have got uh, Knot, which is the acrobatic dance show from Nikki and JD, who, as well as being an acrobatic pair, they've also appeared in the Berlin Methodical Troupe show Kim, if you saw that last year, that's two of those performers. Down to Kings Lynn, then you'll see Circus Mondeo, and moving further over, Russell's Circus, uh, starting in Sheringham. And then, of course, the Great Yarmouth Hippodrome um, will be launching their spring programme, which is the Swashbuckling Pirates Water Show. Uh, that starts on the 29th of March. Um, there's a brand new circus on the block this year called Circus Salai. And although the, the organisation or the enterprise or the company is brand new, the family have been working in circus for uh, several generations and Angel Salai, um, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, is going to be the ringmaster or ringmistress for this new show. Um, they're in Peterborough for their opening stand. And then we'll come back west to Worcester where Circus Zaire will be beginning uh, this month's programme. And Bristol has got a visit from Alula Seer. It's a three-woman seer wheel troupe who have this beautiful singing and um, they combine three seer wheels together and of course their their own bodies in really interesting ways. Um, down to Bath, this is one that I hadn't heard of before and I'm quite excited about. Again, it's one of these theatre shows that just sort of happens to be based on a circus aesthetic or type story. And it's at the Egg Theatre, it is called A Tiger's Tale. And it's been written by the award-winning children's playwright Mike Kenny. So that's exciting in itself. Um, but it tells the story of Fenella the Tiger. And Fenella the Tiger was a pet in Homeworth in Yorkshire in the 1940s. And she would walk down the streets with her owners past her local school. And, uh, and well, there's photos of this, you can look it up online. Um, and Mike Kelly has taken this true story and adapted it, uh, given it a bit of artistic license. And that's what we've got in The Tiger's Tale. So hopefully I will get down and see that at the start of uh, this month and be able to pop up a review. Um, we'll move further west again. And in Cornwall, or the Hall for Cornwall, in fact, uh, which is in Truro, we have got Motion House's new show, Charge. So that is multimedia, aerial dance, uh, ground-based dance as well. Um, it's pretty spectacular stuff. This one is Jay Miller Circus in Verwood. And then we have got The Point in Eastleigh, who are offering a free work-in-progress showing of the new Gravity and Levity work in progress show, which is called Open Space. Um, so Gravity and Levity are an aerial dance company as well. Um, we love the free stuff. Um, so also free this month, if you're in London, is an evening called Poetry Circus at the South Bank Centre on the 7th, uh, which are combined spoken word, poetry, but also circus performers from the, I think it's the London Youth Circus. Um, so that sounds like a really fun evening and something a little bit different. Uh, London will also be seeing Zippo Circus open up at the end of the month, uh, Blackheath Common that is. And the National Centre for Circus Arts, final devised pieces from the graduating students of the degree course will be open to the public from the 21st to the 24th of March. 
If we zoom out again, then Walton on Thames will be hosting Circus Wonderland for the start of the month. Uh, Bishop Stortford has got Circus Fantasia. And in Crawley, there is Santa's Circus. Ramsgate is John Lawson's Circus. And then, when we mix it all up, I'm going to show you where they will all be travelling to over the course of the month. Now, the links to all the companies are in the description. So if you see somebody coming to you, or if you want to take a trek and go and visit them, then you can get the details of, of dates and uh, directions, that kind of thing, by clicking through on the links. Uh, so here are the adventures of Circus in March in 2018. Makes me a bit dizzy watching all of that. Um, mostly this month I will be in Europe. I was going to say in abroad, that doesn't even work. So mostly this month I will be out in Europe. I've got a couple of conferences to visit. Uh, the main one will be Fresh Circus Conference in Belgium, in Brussels. Uh, Brussels is fast becoming one of the uh, world's circus cities and they've got quite a strong infrastructure there. Um, they've got circus advocacy organisations, lots of companies sort of coming out of Belgium now. Um, and I'm there as part of the International Network of Circus Arts Magazines uh, delegation, INCAM. So I'll pop the link to that organisation down below as well, and you can check out uh, colleagues in other countries who are also producing circus magazines. Some of them are in print, um, and some of them are online platforms only, like ourselves. Um, and that is part of the Up Circus Festival. So while I'm there, I'll be checking out lots of new um, experimental circus and uh, devised circus that steps away from the, the classical traditions of a, of a ring and multiple interchangeable acts. Uh, so I will keep you posted on those. Um, that's about it from me. I already mentioned um, we've got links to our fundraising uh, campaign to keep us <laughs> with our heads above water uh, but also you know just give us a like on the video or subscribe to the channel if you don't already that one's free and every little helps um, build the name and, and if you do get a lot out of our work then we'd love it if you would consider being a patron <sighs> uh, especially for my birthday thanks all for watching see you next time bye bye